New at 5.30, a woman from Cleveland, Ohio, who has been missing for seven years, may be linked to a criminal case in Rhode Island. Surveillance photos of a fraud suspect bear a striking resemblance to the missing woman. Susie Steinmel spoke with FBI investigators and the missing woman's family today, and she's live in the studio with details. Susie? Well, Allison and Jean, we ran this picture on NBC10 a few months ago. Back then, we were just hoping that someone would recognize this fraud suspect. Someone did recognize her, but they believe it's Ashley Summers, a 14-year-old girl from Ohio who went missing seven years ago. 14-year-old Ashley Summers ran away from her home in Cleveland, Ohio, seven years ago. She hasn't been seen or heard from since 2007. But this week, a picture in Rhode Island stirred up hope for her family more than 600 miles away. They bear a strong resemblance. This photo was taken in October. It's now on the Rhode Island's most wanted website. The woman in this photo is wanted for credit card theft, a series of car break-ins, and fraud. She bears a striking resemblance to the auto-generated picture police in Cleveland created for their missing persons case. This is what they thought Ashley Summers would look like seven years after she disappeared, not far off from the woman at this ATM. I think the picture looks a lot like her. We reached out to Ashley's step-grandmother in Ohio by phone. She believes Ashley could be held in Rhode Island against her will. She also says if it is Ashley in this photo, she might be purposefully facing the ATM in hopes of having her image captured and being found. It's almost like she's looking straight at that camera. And if you're robbing banks and using identity fraud, you're not you're gonna try not to be seen. So I'm almost wondering if she's being coerced into this. Linda Summers also asked that we urge our viewers to take a good look at the man she's with in the car. She says finding this couple is crucial to either solving this case or allowing the family to move on. And it's kind of a win win on either way. If it is her, we get the we get to know where she is and we know that she's okay. If it isn't her, we've helped you guys find a criminal. Warwick Police Chief Stephen McCartney could not remind us enough today not to get anyone's hopes up in this case. He says there's simply no way to confirm whether this woman actually is Ashley Summers. The suspects in the credit card theft case would face misdemeanor charges in Rhode Island. Susie Steimel, NBC 10 News.